Looking back now it is tempting to see Manchester United's humblings at the hands of Brentford and Manchester City as staging posts in the evolution of Eric Ten Hag's team. The 4-0 loss in the summer heat at the Gatek Community Stadium led to Harry Maguire and Cristiano Ronaldo being dropped in the 6-3 reverse at the Etihad saw Casemiro promoted into the starting 11. So the question now is which development in this team follows the darkest of days this season, the 7-0 thrashing by Liverpool at Anfield. On the face of it, Ten Hag's options are limited now. A run of one defeat in 22 games and a first trophy in six years had appeared to signal the project had now gathered pace, but the shambolic nature of Sunday's defeat has highlighted how much further there is to travel. Some of that change can only be engineered in the summer when the transfer market opens. A new striker is needed, but Ten Hag is hamstrung for now by the absence of Anthony Marshall and the January budget would stretch no further than Woot Weghorst. More legs might be required in midfield, but again that will have to wait. Could there be a change on the right? Anthony is yet to really suggest he is worth the £85 million United paid for him in the summer. Maybe at fullback where the gaps between Diogo Dalit and Aaron Juan Basaka on the right and Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia on the left are fairly minimal. But aside from that, the team Ten Hag picked at Anfield felt like the strongest he had available to him. He isn't going to axe David De Gea, Lissandro Martinez, Rafael Varane, Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes or Marcus Rashford. Weghorst's place feels fairly secure because there is nobody else. It will be fascinating to see how Ten Hag reacts to the Anfield horror show this week, in what should be relatively routine Old Trafford wins against Real Betis and Southampton purely because he's used those other disastrous defeats this season to bring about change. The Dutchman was never under internal pressure after the 4-0 defeat to Brentford in mid-August, but questions were building outside the club after United had been beaten by Brighton on the opening day as well. Ten Hag opted to make some vital changes before the next game which was, ironically, Liverpool at home. Out went Maguire and Ronaldo and neither really played much of a role after that. The centre-back has started just eight more games this season and the striker is now bullying defences in Saudi Arabia. Ten Hag's brave call to axe the club captain and the highest earner was vindicated on the night and has continued to be since. United headed across Manchester on a four-game winning streak in the Premier League but were flattered by the 6-3 scoreline against Pep Guardiola's side. It was another damaging defeat that allowed Ten Hag to engineer change. After his £70 million move from Real Madrid, Casemiro had spent four Premier League games on the bench behind Scott McTominay. The way City pulled apart United's midfield led to Ten Hag making the change most supporters had expected to see earlier and the team has barely looked back since. Casemiro is one of the most important players in the side, although he picked a terrible day to produce his worst performance of the season at the weekend. Ten Hag had his players in to run 13.8 kms on the day after the defeat to Brentford, making a point about their work rate and helping to solve it by dropping a striker who refused to press. He questioned the lack of belief after the way they played at the Etihad, so brought in a player who had won the Champions League five times. In the bowels of Anfield on Sunday he said his players had been unprofessional. It felt like he had chosen his words carefully, 
having been asked initially if it was embarrassing. He chose his response to make sure he was using the phrase he wanted to cut through. So where does he go from here? The solutions aren't as obvious as they were after Brentford and Manchester City. But the way Ten Hag has reacted to those games suggests he will have something up his sleeve this week.